I was not expecting dives to don't go the way it did. I'm still like, whew! <laughs> Lots of emotion going on right now. I was so confused, just not knowing what was going on. It was certainly just a little nerve-wracking, even before going diving. I was not expecting this at all. Welcome to Wally and Shepard. I'm Alex, and this is Corey. Three years ago, we sailed south from Canada as newbie sailors. Now we share our love of travel with our baby girl, Coral, as we explore new areas of the Bahamas. Join us for our weekly adventure. Cute. I love you. Corey's cooking! Oh man, it cannot get any better. We got some beautiful smoked bacon that is way better than regular bacon. And thanks to Sean and Julie, we're able to keep some stuff and bring it from the US because we have a freezer this year. So we're spoiling ourselves with great meat, lots of good fish and anything else, some berries, all sorts of goodies in there. But today we're gonna cook some smoked bacon and have a little bit of a fancier breakfast. A little bit of a scrambled eggs with onions and garlic and spices. And now Alex can't complain that I never cook. Oh, this is amazing, thank you so much. No problem, yum. Mm, well cooked, not too cooked. You want to try some bacon, sweetheart? Oh, it looks good, eh? Oh, wow. Yum. What do you think? You like it? Oh, so good. Well, Papa Cory is out scuba diving and getting more experience. Carl and I are hiding in the shade and she's getting to crawl or actually she doesn't really like crawling that much she's just all about standing up and walking all over the cockpit while holding on to the sides. Yeta! 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 You ain't too excited you're gonna fall. Yeta! Viens mon amour. Oui. See, this little one cannot be left alone. She's everywhere and reaching higher and higher. I just uh, washed some bed sheets, so it's perfect for creating some shade for this little one. Oui. Since coral doesn't eat that much, I just make a bunch of sweet potato puree and freeze some. This is kind of weird seeing a cruise ship at Conception Island. Then all of a sudden I see a zodiac being trapped from way up high into the water. Staff starts zooming by our sailboat to set up on the beach for their passengers. Interesting show which Coral and I watch from the comfort of our sailboat. I am going to the beach now with that many people. I'll wait until they leave to have it to myself once again. Today was way too choppy from the higher winds that we're having. Heading to the cannons wasn't going to be an option this time. The water clarity wasn't as good as what we're used to either, because a lot of silt had been kicked up, so anything deep might not be the best choice either. So 
So we settle on just doing some super shallow exploration of some coral nearby, close to the anchorage. We came across a few good sized groupers, and even a channel clinging crab. It was missing an arm, and many of his legs. The Nassau grouper is a species of fish that is found in the western Atlantic Ocean, particularly in the waters of the Bahamas. They are a large fish, typically weighing between 15 and 40 pounds, and can grow up to 4 feet in length. They are known for their distinctive coloration, which can range from gray to brown, with dark spots and bars on their body. Nassau groupers, or groupers in general, are definitely one of my favorite fish. However, due to overfishing, their population has really decreased, and they have been listed on the critically endangered species. Therefore, there are strict regulations in the Bahamas for the Nassau grouper fishing season, which is closed for a certain period of time each year to allow the population to recover. Additionally, Nassau grouper's meat may contain worms, which is a common problem in this species and just requires you taking a close eye and removing them before cooking. Some air left in my tank, Andy was kind enough to let me use his gear to clean Wildly Intrepid's hull. Well this is going to be a lot easier I think with dive gear to do the bottom. Let's see how much faster I can get it done without having to hold my breath. Boat life doesn't mean stay on the sailboat all the time. It feels great to go stretch the legs on a daily basis. So we headed out onto Conception Island with our friends Sonia and Andy from Sink and Swim Adventures for a little bit of fun. We also all tried our luck with the metal detector on the beach. You really can't beat the scenery. After letting Coral roam around freely, I jumped back onto the paddleboard. Cory took Coral in the dinghy. Paddling while standing has been a nice addition to our boat life. Stretch out the muscles, get some exercise, take in the sights, and relax. Overall, a perfect new activity. Plus, the three of us can even get onto it all together. This is quite exciting. Corey and I are going to go scuba diving with Andy from SV Journey on Conception Island. And we get to do this because Sonia, the amazing one, is going to babysit Coral. And she really likes her, so it's, it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited.
I was not expecting dives to go the way it did. I'm still like, whew! <laughs> Lots of emotion going on right now. Guys, when we went diving, Corey and Andy was we were talking about doing some skills on the waters. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then we're just swimming around, looking at all the beautiful corals. And there were some huge groupers as well that were not even afraid of us. And then all of a sudden, so Corey and Andy stop, Andy pulls out the notepad and they're doing some sign language and Corey is just writing back on the notepad. I'm just sitting still, waiting, just wondering what's going on, Kathy. And, <laughs> and then Corey gives me that O-ring. And we've been looking with a metal detector for lots of neat things. I'm like, okay. Found an O ring. That's how did you find this? It's so tiny, but or am I supposed to do something with this? I was so confused, just not knowing what was going on. And then Corey spins over the notepad and it's saying, Marry me. I'm like, Is this really happening? Like, is he actually proposing to me underwater while scuba diving at Conception Island? So then I started going through a little bit more of my air. I've been having a blast learning to dive and advancing my diving uh, with Andy and it's just been such such a good time and I just want to really thank Andy and Sonia for for making it all happen because Sonia was a coral's first real real life babysitter. Yeah she does the you eating of face. face. You had fun with like, your babysitter with Sonia? Yep. Yeah. Yes, we did. Um, we did the baking, you know. We got the measuring spoons out. We got the muffins out. She loves the measuring cups. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think they really get along well. Every time I seem to come back from a dive, she's asleep in her arms. So Coral loves her, I think. As Alex said, I think she used more air after her dive, after the proposal. And I used much more air before the proposal. <laughs> Not that I was nervous necessarily, because I wasn't, you know, it wasn't one of those proposals where I was thinking she was gonna say no. But uh, it was certainly just a little nerve-wracking, even before going diving, just planning it all out. I got a little shaky at times, and 
That was kind of funny. But it, it was so it was so fun. I got a lot of input from Andy and ideas. I had the idea of doing it by scuba. I thought it would be really cool because Alex has always loved scuba and I'm only now just finding a passion for it. I was gonna originally just find some sort of ring or something and um, you know pose with it, but I wasn't sure if she would catch on right away. So it was a good idea of Andy to write it on the slate. And uh, yeah, it was it was it couldn't have turned out any better. It was wonderful. I love you. I love you too. But wow, I was um, I was not expecting this at all. I mean, we've talked about it in, in passing, but never actually were serious about it. So that was that was really exciting. So we're engaged. <laughs> What do you think, Coral? You happy about it too? Yeah. I was playing with margarine cups and then I had a good nap. You had a blast with Sonia, eh? Oh geez, too zoomed in. <laughs>